Hello and welcome to the Amiga Room. How do you make your own Amiga demos? I don't know. Don't ask me. This is a series where we're going to explore all the possibilities. And also during that, we'll be fixing up the CD32. We'll be fixing up, finishing up the five, the 600. It just needs a bit of repair on the the one meg upgrade isn't working, so a bit of sandpaper, whatever. Sort that out, and this 500 will be completely rebuilt and restored back to normality. So, obviously, RSI Demo Maker, um, I've been digging right into it so far. So, there's six discs, and there's another three, there's one in German, there's uh, all sorts to get through. So there's the RSI Demo Maker, there's the Vector Balls, there's the Vector Graphics, there's a Help Utility Disc, there's a Music Construction Disc, which is like, huh? <laughs> there's a Noise Tracker Disc, and there's a Font Editor Disc, so let's create our own fonts. I love the IFF fonts, I'd love to be able to blow the 32 by 32s up to, you know, 4K or whatever, 4K version of the old Omega D-Paint style fonts, you know, that'd be cool. Um, so it all began on July 1992, so this project has been going on for, well it hasn't been going on, it's been on hold for years and I'm starting it again. So July 1992, see Omega issue July, I don't know doesn't say. So around that time I left Earth. So I joined a cult that were totally focused on the end of the world and nothing else mattered so everything was put in a box and stored away. I, I managed to save the stuff by not letting the cult take a hold of it and it's been in storage so I'm pulling it out but most importantly even if I did try and read these magazines, I could. my brain was so under mind control, so I couldn't read anything non-fiction outside of cult material. I couldn't read instructions and follow instructions. So this is all new. This is all stuff that has taken years to come out of the cult, how to start to use my own brain, start to think for myself. This is all new. So. I'm going to finish off this project, wow, in Windows 10, <laughs> 2021, oh my god. So, yeah, the biggie is Octomed 3.0, Amiga Nuts. Um, now, I spent two years trying to figure out how to use Octomed, I've given up. What I'm going to do, and this was suggested by um, one of the instructions on one of the floppy disks, was like to create the tune the normal way I, I make tunes on my guitar or on my keyboard and then take that tune and get Octomed to replicate that tune and maybe that'll work that'll, I mean I'm just so totally blown away by how amazing these mod files are that I, I'm always saying you know I can't do that I can't do that well it may take until this is fixed and up and running for me to do that but that's a goal that I want to achieve so if we went from easiest to hardest way on how to make a demo we'd start with Black Legends Demo Maniac on the cover disc it was a full version on the cover disc basically you just click this button click that button voila so there's no you can't create vector objects vector balls in it or anything it just plays demos so see if we can what we can do with it push it to its limits and uh, as part of this I want to do Disc Magazine Creator as I love that program there's, al there's also a team of Demonoid and Smartass of Redline have made their own Vector Object Designer program using Amos 1.2 so can I this is just a stretch I know nothing about programming or Optimed or anything at the moment. 
Can I create my own demo maker? Can I do an RSI? Well, this. So, the last interaction that I made to this series, I, I said something stupid like, can Amos do Scolies or whatever? It's like, well, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's unlimited. So, there's that. Um, so then down the other end, once I've learned most of the stuff, then we'll get into the hardcore stuff. I'm following Photon of Scoopix at the moment, doing the assembly language coding. Uh, I don't know if, well, it's, it's easy to follow his instructions, so I could pick that up. There's a, another person on YouTube doing the Amiga demo making, code making in C, so I'll follow that. Uh, we also have the good old power.net old school demo maker which runs fine on my XP Windows XP emulator. So, you know, it's uh, all about taking elements from the, the easiest program to create this, set and the other and combining them in DaVinci on Windows 10 to um, have something that looks like a demo but it's not a demo but the ultimate goal the ultimate goal now finally at the end of this when this baby is up and working is to actually write a demo the size of a floppy disk and stick it on a floppy disk and run it on an Amiga um, that's, a ch that's the challenge, that's the challenge for the series. So, that, I mean, every, you know, everybody's done it, feel like RSI, um, whatever, the, the, you know, normal stuff to them. To, but to me, I'm a complete novice, I know nothing. So to, to watch a demo that I've made, Rada Lubiga, I mean, that'll be just primo. That'll be the final episode of the series. Thanks. So let's go to have a look at Through This Magazine, next episode, Through This Magazine, and more importantly, who the hell are RSI? Who's TriStar? Who's NCC? TCC, sorry. <laughs> and all that. So we'll look at that, and then we'll get into the RSI discs themselves, and then we'll get into the tutorial on the floppy disk of RSI. Thanks. Let's get into it. Yeah.